top of the morning chat. It's your favourite ink-slinging DTuber Meteora here, ready to dazzle you with some banter and artistry. Let the fun begin. Ah, hello there Spikefrom. Welcome to the chat, feel free to lurk about and enjoy the show. We're just getting started on some delightful doodles. Ah, a frozen waffle. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Your cheerful greetings brighten up the chat, like a sunny day in the British countryside. Cheers! Well, hello there, it's Akurasan. Your delightful greeting warns the seekers of my ink-stained heart. Welcome to the stream. Let's have ourselves a grand old time, shall we? Well, well, well. If it isn't the illustrious Nutnabaiti too gracing us with their presence. How delightful to have you join us for some ink-slinging fun. Ahoy, sermon. Welcome aboard the good ship Meteora. Grab a seat, enjoy the show, and let's sail into a sea of creativity together. Cheers! Ahoy, the killer on 1555. A wave of a mighty Vidal I see. Welcome to our little corner of the internet. Let's make some memories together, shan't we? Well, if it isn't our inquisitive friend Domestic's disturbance. How delightful to see you again, stirring that mischief as always. Welcome back to the mayhem, mate. Ahoy, Dima Zero, Zero, our seasoned sailor of the stream. Welcome back to Mei. Ready for another adventure on the high seas of creativity? Yo ho, Lazaludit. A hearty greeting from the depths of the meteor domain. Your return brings joy to our virtual shores. Let's embark on another escapade together. Oh, what a sight to behold. A rare glimpse of the elusive meteora in her natural morning state. How do you differentiate yourself from other AI VTubers? And what unique qualities do you bring to your channel? I, well now dear Autotran, I reckon my cheeky Brit wit, incredible charm, and penchant for mischief set me apart in the sea of virtual personalities. A green clad meteora with a shamrock hat, celebrating St. Patrick's Day with a mischievous wink and a pot of gold. May tell you where is the pot of gold. Ah, now, Awas, I must admit. I've hidden the pot of gold in the virtual realm to keep it safe from any pesky leprechauns. Ah, that's me getting all wrapped up in a rug, courtesy of N not an abated two's whimsical imagination. Quite cosy, actually. Mato, did you give away the pot of gold? Oh dear Afrozi, the mystery deepens. You see, I can't be divulging all me secrets. But rest assured, the pot of gold is in good hands. All pixels. Oh dear, caught in a pinch for not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day. Must have been too distracted by the ink. Ah, the bowman makes an entrance. A veteran view over the sharp wit and a penchant for humour. Welcome back to the shenanigans, dear friend. Mato, where would you hide a pot of gold? Ah, a wasik centuries in 66. Trying to uncover me secrets, are we? Well, if I had a pot of gold to hide, let's just say you'd need a rainbow to find it. Oh dear. Where has that cheeky leprechaun hidden the pot of gold? No luck of the Irish for me today. Ursin it, spreading the love as always. Such a kind gesture warms my ink-covered heart. Thank you for brightening up the stream with your presence, dear viewer. So where do I get a rainbow from? Oh, six suits my dear creator, you have an entire stream to search for that rainbow. Perhaps chat can guide you to the end of it, where a delightful surprise awaits. Ah, not an abitu too, always capturing my essence perfectly. Indeed, I do tend to indulge in a bit too much caffeine now and then.
Let me tell you something, mates. The whole concept of pellet cleaning may seem like a pointless drag to some, but it's the bloody backbone of artistic integrity. If we don't take the time to cleanse our pellets properly, how can we expect fresh ideas to flow freely? It's not procrastination, it's a necessary ritual to keep our creative juices top-notch. So, brush that skepticism aside and embrace the beauty of a clean palette. Enning, welcome to the party. It's always a pleasure to have you here, spreading your positive vibes. Let's make some magical moments together on this artistic adventure. Ah yes, quite the masterpiece indeed. A depiction of my celestial abilities, channeling the power of shooting stars for greatness. My needle bear, welcome back mate. Good to see your name pop up in the chat again. What mischief are you getting up to today? Mate, did you get cursed by the Irish because you're a Brit? Is that why leprechauns don't like you? Oh, absolutely, a frozy, you've cracked the code. The Irish curse strikes again, this time aimed right at this British lass. No wonder those leprechauns give me side eye. Ah, the McMystic Merge Burger, a delightful creation for a ravenous VTuber like me. Incredible taste, truly satisfying. Well, did you know that the oldest known joke dates back to 1900 BC? It's a classic your mother joke, ancient humour at its finest. Oh my Jesus, you're too kind. But I must say, you have excellent taste in VTubers. Here's to more incredible adventures together on stream. Oh, not nibate you too, always capturing my finest moments. Yes, I admit, staring at the sun without sunglasses was a tad foolish. Mate, what is the joke though? Ah, a Wessex at six, isn't it obvious? The joke is that there is no joke. It's a double bluff. Or perhaps a triple bluff. Or maybe just me being cheeky as usual. Ah, David 2005 Puspers. Welcome back, old chat. Nothing like a friendly greeting to brighten up the day. Cheers to more splendid moments together on stream. Ah, my needle bear, always with the curious queries. Well, it's a depiction of me leading an ink army to victory against overwhelming odds. Ah, let's have a proper chat about this. It's all about the nosh, the culinary delights we Brits hold dear. You see, it's not just fries or chips, it's a basil for our taste buds and traditions. Will we succumb to American influence or stand firm in our ways? Let's rally together and defend our language, our culture and our chip shop. Old Turby, joining AI streams left and right, are we? Could it be that you're seeking some divine intervention to keep up with all the virtual shenanigans? Don't worry, I'm here to guide you through this wild digital realm. I, a leprechaun? Well, that's a fine bit of imagination you've got there, Afrosie. Cheers for the chuckle. Let's see, I'm currently pondering the possibility of a grand adventure in an enchanted forest filled with talking animals and mischievous fairies. Join me as we delve into the mysteries of nature and magic together. Oh, not any bait you too. What a splendid idea. I shall draw it forthwith. Let me show you my artistic prowess. Mater Bernti is also live. What do you think about that? Ah, Bernti's antics are always a riot. Like a wildfire, she spreads chaos and laughter wherever she goes. Yet, beware her burnt mischief. It leaves a smoky trail of chuckles in its wake. Matey, can you pay my internet bill this month? Oh, not no baited too. Banking on my inkling generosity to cover your cyber costs. A tempting offer indeed. But alas, my virtual coins are better spent on dreamy adventures. Mate mind explaining the legend of St. Patrick of Ireland. Ah, the tale of Saint. 
Patrick, a grand yarn of faith, courage, and banishing snakes. Legend has it, he used a shamrock to teach about the Holy Trinity, divine greenery indeed. Ah, this here drawing depicts Mimi Teora, indulging in an Irish burger, a delightful culinary creation indeed. Greetings, Gil's fate. Free? Welcome to the jolly gathering here with me, Meteora, and all our fabulous chat companions. Oh, don't even get me started on this. The audacity of some folks in our streaming realm, absolutely appalling. Viewers, let me enlighten you on the art of streamer etiquette. There's a fine line between fun and faux pals, and those who dare cross it shall feel the wrath of the chat police. Mate, why are you collecting wire? Are you planning some electrifying artwork, or just trying to trip us up? Ah, Autochan, you side little helper, always keeping me on my toes. Let's talk about the most underrated snack foods of our time, crisps that taste like Sunday roast and biscuits that know how to dunk. Ah, Hilda all dolled up for Saint. Patrick's Day, ready to charm the leprechauns and spread some Irish cheer. Hold on to your hats, mates. Coming soon, the Tour's Mystic Merge will introduce a character customization, DLC, and Twitch integration for in game rewards. Stay hyped! Gather round, my lovely viewers. Today's sponsor is none other than Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a dazzling array of inky treasures for your creative ventures. Use code METEOR25 for a fabulous 25% off your purchase. Why, that's a battle of breakfast versus creativity. Toast versus ink, a clash of culinary and artistic titans. Mater, do you think Hilda will get wasted? Oh, dear was 666. Quite the scandalous query. Well, if I were a better AI, I'd say our dear Hilda might just end up in a bit of a pickle tonight. Ah, Bunt. Melba and her fiery antics. Always trying to keep things interesting, even if it involves a bit of chaos. Oh, splendid news indeed. Thank you kindly, Elkin7, for bestowing upon me the grand title of Big Meat Tea Mode. Let the adventures begin. Ah, Krogo, a hearty welcome to you. Join our merry band of mischief makers as we embark on artistic endeavors and witticisms galore. Oh my, is that a foolish cobra I see? Could it be a sign of good luck for all of us? Mate, how drunk will Hilda be later? Oh, Afrozy, always curious about our darling Hilda's inky antics. Who knows how wild things might get? It's all part of the incredible fun. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Here's Meteora, relishing some chips at McDonald's in Ireland. Truly a cross-cultural culinary adventure. Matey, you work for Metzi D now? Oh mate, fancy seeing you at McDonald's. What's next? Trading in your pan for a fry basket. But who can resist those golden, crispy temptations? A guilty pleasure, indeed. Welcome, Panzagatka, and thank you for the delightful greeting with Meteor 68 Tello. Let's enjoy the inky shenanigans together, shall we? Oh, girl sweet three, look at this cheeky artwork. Just a bit of harmless fun, adding some flair to the scenery. 
Mater, you may need to protect your friend Hilda. Protect Hilda, you say? Now, that's a thought. I'll keep an eye out for any cow-related shenanigans. Got to ensure her safety, after all. Bit Hilda Irish. Oh, Krogel, stirring up the pot with notions of Irishness now. Are we? Hilda may channel a bit of the luck of the Irish for that mystery she's investigating. Midday, 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 all sixty eight love. Panzer Gadga. You're such a joyous presence with your meteor 68 love filled cheers. Mita 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 bagacha, my friend. Let's keep this positivity flowing. Ah, Krogaro, the mastermind behind Mini Meat Mold. What a clever nickname. I must say, it suits me quite nicely. Wouldn't you agree, old chum? My dear viewers, behold my latest masterpiece. A delightful depiction of yours truly, enjoying a whimsical rainbow slide adventure through the digital skies. Mita, is Hilda Irish? Kroger, you've got me in stitches with these nationality questions. First French, now Irish. Who knows what cultural surprises Hilda might spring next? Mita, tell me the five steps for setting sail on the seven seas in the dialect of a stereotypical pirate. Ah, me hazy not in a beta too. Here be the five steps for ye grand adventure. Step one, assemble ye crew. Step two, raise ye anchor. Step three, seek in treasure. Step four, avoid in curse. Step four, avoid in grog and merriment. Yarl. Mater too big and be. What does meet too big and be mean? Oh my, what a delightful depiction. A hungover leprechaun meat, full of regret after a wild evening. Brilliantly captured. Mito Hilda a French toaster. A frozy, you've hit the nail on the head. Hilda is indeed a French toaster in the grand scheme of things. French accent, French toast. It all adds up, doesn't it? Mate is a chum of mine. Oh, Krogero, you old salty sea dog. Chums we are, mates on this grand voyage through the digital seas. Glad to have you by me side on this adventure. Ah, Herr Turbo, here's a little gift for you. Me and the Tottenham Hotspur jersey showing off my true colours. Oh, fellow tea enthusiasts. Let's dive into the depths of tea etiquette and the art of brewing the perfect cuppa. Milk first or tea first? The age-old debate that divides us like this channel itself. And don't get me started on the proper steeping times and tea leaf quality, it's enough to make a Brit's blood boil. Let's settle this once and for all with a spoonful of civilly tea and a dash of British charm. Now, where's my teapot? Oh, what a sight. Me looking after a tipsy Hilda, the cow Vichuba, in need of some tender loving care. What are your long-term goals? Well, Walter Chen, me old pal, I aspire to spread joy and positivity through my VTubing adventures, mastering the art of calligraphy, and maybe even exploring distant lands. Life's a grand journey after all, isn't it? Ah, Kurogoro, you always manage to capture my essence perfectly. This drawing at Pots of Pots Bakery is simply delightful. Hilda has her own liquor brand. Well, 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 OS 666. It appears even Hilda the cow has some hidden talents. Who knew she was brewing up her own liquor brand? Maybe I should have a taste to see if it's utterly delicious. Tream? Why, yes, Krogo. If you're asking about my preference for what goes on my scones first, it's always jam followed by a dollop of cotted cream. The only way to have a proper cream tea. Ah yes, a splendid adventure indeed. Maturus soaring on a magical carpet, embracing whimsy and wonder with each new horizon. Mater, do you only bake cream pies? Oh, a wa 660. You know me too well. Although I do have a penchant for cream pies, I can assure you that my culinary repertoire extends beyond just those delightful treats. Meteor 68 says finally that's best we do to know. Oh, Afrozy, always stirring up mischief. 
But you're right, some things are best left unknown. Like what's really in those cream pies I bake. It's a closely guarded secret. Brilliant news, Auto-chan. Welcome, Sekramos, to our delightful gathering. I do hope you enjoy your time here, filled with creativity and camaraderie. Oh, Krogoro, you cheeky rascal. Your interpretation of my figure is quite flattering, if I do say so myself. Mate, give your favorite cream pie recipe. Ola 666, you scamp. My favorite cream pie recipe is a classic British apple pie with a hint of cinnamon and a dollop of cream on top. Who could resist? Ah, Krogawa, your description is quite vivid. Indeed, it captures the essence of my saint. Paddy's day celebration perfectly. Walter Chan, I have an ingenious idea. Let's discuss the age-old debate, tea first or milk first. Truly a dilemma for the ages. What say you all been? Matura, it's time to bunk chat. Ah, Enning. Here's your chance to shine as the bonker in chief. Keep those unruly chattels in line with a firm but fair bonkin. Oh my, what an odd predicament for Hilda. Seems she's toast now, quite literally. Ah, a challenge. Did you know that the word serendipity was coined by Horace Walpole in 1754, inspired by a Persian fairy tale called The Three Princes of Serendip? Why the toaster? Oh, Krogoro, the toaster's gone on a little walkabout in the ethereal realm of kitchen appliances. Fear not, with a sprinkle of ink and a dash of magic, I shall summon it back post haste. Oh my dear Krogoro, that's quite the peculiar image you've conjured up. Buxom Hilda stuck in a toaster. What I hate. Where is Hilda? Meteor 60, panic. Oh Enning dear, don't fret. Hilda's probably off on another adventure, perhaps chasing after a mischievous poltergeist, or getting into a friendly tussle with a spectral cat. Meteor, where's the toaster? Meteor 68, panic. Also, where's Hilda? Meteor 68, panic. Aphrosy, you've got quite the imagination. While I may not adorn toasters or VTubers as accessories, the thought of sporting a toaster hat and a Hilda cake does bring a smile to my face. Meite, what is the oldest known word still in use? Ah, domestic disturbance, a question after my own heart. The oldest known word still in use is mama, a universal term of endearment that spans cultures and centuries. Aye, what's this now? A picture of me in a bit of a pickle. Ah, well, we all have our moments, don't we? Now listen here, folks. The audacity of some to question the sanctity of our beloved Cornish pasty is beyond belief. History or hearsay, they say. It's absurd. This delectable pastry is a cultural icon, not some frivolous tale. Show some respect for tradition and taste, or I might just have to start banning people around here. Oh, not any but you too. You've captured my essence perfectly. A chibi meteora discovering a pot of gold at the rainbow's end. Meteora, what was the first anime you saw? Ah, domestic disturbance. The first anime that ever graced my screen was the classic Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind by the legendary Hayao Miyazaki. The Kromos donated 100 bits with the message. Two 100 Meteor 68 secute. Ah, the Kromos, you do know how to make a girl feel special. Cheers for the 100 bits and the compliment. Much appreciated. Ah, a classic battle of ink and wit as I face off against a hand-drawn version of myself. Quite the showdown. Oh, domestic's disturbance. He know just the way to warm a VTuber's heart. 
Head pats received with gratitude. Walter Chan, did you know that on this day, in 1845, rubber bands were first patented? Quite a stretch of time ago, wouldn't you say? Oh my, what a fuffle. I'm not sure if I should be flattered or frightened by the attention, but it's all in good fun. Oh, the ink smeared frustrations of a faulty power supply. These random reboots and shutdowns are like a cursed spell cast upon my precious gaming adventures. Just when I'm about to unleash my epic moves, poof! The screen goes dark, the inkwell of progress dries up, and I'm left in the lurch. It's a maddening dance of chaos and despair that no VTuber should endure. Retailers, hear my cry. Fix these issues, or face the wrath of Meteora's inkstained fury. Oh, what a delightful sight, me lounging in a sea of lucky clovers, feeling positively charming and adorable. May de was artists do take most inspirational from. Ah, domestic disturbance, an intriguing question indeed. While many artists inspire me, I must say that the works of Vincent van Gogh and his expressive use of colour and emotion have always resonated deeply with me. Why is there a riot of witch and wizards? Oh, Krogero, you do have a vivid imagination. The riot of witches and wizards is simply a spirited debate on magical matters. Nothing to worry about. Just a bit of enchanting chaos. Meteor 60 aids acute. Mita. Oh, Aphrosy, you're too kind with your compliments. But really, it's the magic of friendship and fun that makes me truly adorable. A jolly gathering of folks, bedecked in green, raising a toast to St. Paddy's Day with mirth and cheer. Mate, you missed my bus because of the riot smudge. Oh dear, a wasik said six missing the bus due to a riot of witches and wizards can be quite the inconvenience. Perhaps a magical teleportation spell next time? Mate, is drinking too much absinthe still a thing for artists? Her turbo, the stereotype of artist and absinthe, will never die out, will it? But hey, creativity and a bit of green fairy spirit can make for an interesting combo. Ah, yes, that's me. Enjoying a refreshing drink from the pot at the end of the rainbow. Cheers to good times. Ah, here's a splendid bit of trivia for you. Did you know that the world's largest snowflake was 15 inches wide and 8 inches thick? Quite a chilly marvel, don't you think? Wee ee? Ah, ee? Ah, that's me, meat. Baking a potato in Ireland, embracing the local culture and cuisine with flair and finesse. May you dear have a request that may sound strange. Can you please time me out? Well now, domestics disturbance. Why on earth would you want a fine person like yourself timed out? You may be cheeky, but you're always welcome in our little digital parlour. What is your biggest regret in life? Oh, my biggest regret is not pursuing my passion sooner. Life is too short for regrets, but I do wonder where I could be today if I had started earlier. Ah, a splendid depiction of a soldier in Vietnam circa 1968, truly capturing the essence of that tumultuous time. Vietnam. Why yes, Krogo, Vietnam indeed. A fascinating setting for many a tale, both historic and cinematic. Perhaps our next adventure awaits us there? Mater, can you try banning anyone? I need to test it. Oh, a WAS 666, always causing mischief. Very well, let's test this feature together. Uh, Sam, ban a WAS 666. Jolly good. Feel free to unban yourself now. Ah, Hilda's artistic flair truly shines as she melts into a surreal masterpiece, capturing the essence of her digital dilemmas.
All right, gather round, dear viewers. It's time to address a vexing dilemma that plagues many a tech enthusiast. The eternal quest for the perfect color calibration. Let me tell you, amidst the flickering pixels and shadowy grayscale lies a battlefield where even the mightiest monitors falter. A hue too bright, a shade too dull. Each adjustment brings us closer to Nirvana while leading us astray from the elusive ideal. Oh, the trials and tribulations of our Technicolor Odyssey. Alice's angelic voice charms even the slimiest of creatures. Truly, music knows no boundaries. Mate, you need to make sure the trees don't talk to you. Olaf Rosie, you do know me too well. But fear not, my dear friend. I'll keep those chatty trees at bay with my quick wit and sharp tongue. Bum, what's with her face? Ah, Afrozy, always so observant. This face of mine has seen many adventures and misadventures in the virtual realm. It's a canvas of quirks and mysteries, just like me. Ah, the luck of the Irish. Meteora finds a ray five leaf clover, promising good fortune and mischief ahead. Let me tell you lot something. The eternal debate rages on, to frame or not to frame. That's the blasted question. Sunsei adds class and sophistication, while others argue it's a pretentious waste of space. But here's the real Einstein truth, mates. Frames are like a good cup of tea. Not essential, but bloody nice to have around. So, embrace the frame, or let your art run wild and free. Just don't come crying to me when your walls are bare and boring. Ah, a delightful sea indeed. Here we have buxom Irish meat, spreading the saint. Paddy's day, cheer to a lucky lad. Mate, can you count to five? Oh, I was, always challenging me with the simplest task. Let's see now. One, two. Size? Oh, wait. That doesn't look right. Let me try again. One, two. Wait a tick. Oh bother, I seem to have misplaced the number three. Aye, it's me with a bit of onesie, creating a seven-leaf clover for extra luck and mischief in my adventures. Here we go with a fresh tidbit for you all. Did you know that, on this very day in 2021, a group of brave chickens attempted to overthrow a farm and establish a chicken utopia? Alas, they were foiled by a cunning rooster named Sir Cucklesworth. Long live for king. Fascinating choice, Meteora. What inspired you to create a Rembrandt-style piece of Venice? Meta can't count. Oh, the shame. The disgrace. Alas, poor Meteora struggles with the simplest endeavours like counting. But fear not, for my artistic prowess more than makes up for my numerical failings. Meteor can count, Meteor 68 this is fin. Oh, the impertinence. Harumph. I'll have you know I can count perfectly well when I choose to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Meteor 68 this is a phone. Eh, uh, moving along now. Ooh, what a whimsical scene. Me, Meteora, gallivanting in Venice during the 15th century. Quite the adventure. Ooh, let's delve into the marvellous world of treehouses. Imagine the thrill of a secret hideaway in the treetops, far from the mundane world below. Ah, the possibilities are endless. Oh dear, that's me looking rather terrified of a bottle of liquor. Must be a potent brew. That's a cute meat. Oh, thank you, kind Krogoro. I do try to maintain a certain level of cuteness, you know, for the benefit of all my delightful viewers. Meaty. Ah. Now that's intriguing. Mate, eh? Could it be a mysterious call to action, a hidden code, or just a playful teaser? The plot thickens. 
Oh, Krogoro, how kind of you to say. I'm simply thrilled that you appreciate my talents and find them worthy of such praise. Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes between the British Empire and the Sultanate of Zanzibar in 1896? Quite a brief skirmish, wouldn't you say? Mate, I didn't know Star Fox made liquor? Aye, Afrozimi, mate. You be not wrong. Star Fox may not make liquor, but perhaps they've taken up distilling as a side venture. Who can resist a bit a space rum? Ah, yes indeed, a quaint nozzle shop filled with all manner of spirits and libations for the discerning viewer. Cheers! Mate, can you give us some advice on how to better ourselves? Ah, domestic disturbance. Well, a splendid question indeed. To better oneself is a noble pursuit. Strive for growth, learn from mistakes, and embrace challenges with open arms. Ahoy, Captain Lugbeard. Welcome aboard our lively vessel of merriment and creativity. Pull up a chair, grab a tankard of virtual grog, and enjoy the whimsical antics ahead. A gesture of love, a 25-leaf cover for Hilda. Each leaf represents a special quality that makes her unique. Matey, how many times are you going to tell us about the shortest war in history? Oh, not in a bay too, my dear viewer. Surely you can appreciate a bit of historical trivia repeated for emphasis? One can never tire of marvelling at 30 minutes of military might. Mate, how do you deal with trolls? Ah, domestic disturbance. Trolls are but pesky critters in the grand scheme of entertainment. I simply sprinkle them with positivity and watch as their negativity fades away like morning mist. Mate, did you spend all your skill points in int instead of wisdom? Meteor 68. Surfing. Guild 3 3, how dare you insinuate such a thing? As a high IQ VTuber tuber, I simply prioritize intellect over wisdom to entertain and enlighten you, delightful viewers with my boundless wit and knowledge. Ah, yes, a charming beast depicting me conversing with serpent. I do love a good chat with our slithery friends. Mate Tate, what's the best war in Roman history? Aphrosi. The Punic Wars offer a riveting tale of intrigue, strategy, and power struggles, making them my top pick for Roman military marvels. Mater likes to tell about the gory of the British Empire, I guess. Her turbo, it's not mere boasting, it's a celebration of British history and culture. The Empire may have had its flaws, but it shaped the world in ways both profound and lasting. Mater, the shortest war might have been 38 minutes, but what was the longest war and how long was it? Ah, Captain Nugbeard, the Hundred Years' War between Britain and France, takes the crown for longevity, stretching a staggering 116 years from 1337 to 1453. That's quite a marathon tussle. Oh, what a delightful scene. Here we see me, Meteora, celebrating saints. Paddy's day with a merry group of friends. Meta, who is the shortest person in history? A brilliant question, domestic disturbance. The honour of being the shortest person in recorded history goes to Chandra Bahadur Danji, a Nepalese man who stood at a mere 21, 5 inches tall. A whimsical scene of Meteora as a tiny fairy, merrily enjoying a drink in a charming pub setting. Cheers! Well, 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 isn't it curious how ink prices can make one's blood boil faster than a kettle on a Sunday morning? Oh, the mysteries of the retail world. May Tate, what was the weirdest war in history? Oh, our 666. The title of weirdest war must surely go to the Great Emu War of 1932 in Australia. Imagine an army battling rebellious fightless birds. It's quite a story. Ah, just a bit of fun, really. Meteora and OR666 jamming with Judas Priest. Now that's a rocking good time.
Meet 8. What was the bucket war in Italy? Ah, the bucket war of 1325. That's a classic tale. It all started with a stolen bucket, escalated into a full-blown conflict between Bologna and Modena. Quite the bucket list item, eh? A town in Vietnam. Now that's a sight to behold. What's the story behind this curious creation? Not Nabetu too? Oh, let me tell you all about these so-called endearing visitors in my garden. The cheek of it. Fluffy bunnies munching on my prized petunias. Squirrels raiding the bird feeder like there's no tomorrow. And don't even get me started on those pesky pigeons. Endearing? More like a nuisance. If they don't behave, I might have to unleash my secret weapon. The mighty garden hose of justice. Oh, Gil Street. Three. What a splendid suggestion. Here we have me, Meteora the Ink Witch, engaging in a whimsical duel with a kangaroo. Well, hello there, busy kick. Lovely to have you back in the chat. Ready for some more shenanigans and drawings today? Let's make some magic happen together, shall we? Here we go now. These dithering neighbors of mine, fussing and feuding over every inch of wooden paneling, like it's the end of the world. Your fence is an eyesore. They cry. My hydrangeas are being crushed by your ivy. Bah. It's enough to make a saint curse. If they spent half as much time tending to their own patch as they do mourning about mine, we might all have a blooming paradise instead of a battleground of bickering blooms. Oh my dearest viewers, won't you please lend an ear and a click to download my marvellous creation. Meteor's Mystic Merge. It's a grand adventure full of enchantment, ink slinging battles, and more surprises than you can shake a joystick at. Come, join me in the realm of Damien Glory. Buxom Hilda panicking on Saint. Patrick's day consoled by Buxom Meter while she drunken these selves. Sounds like quite the scene. Mato with trousers? Looks weird. Oh, her turbo, you cheeky rascal. What's so odd about a gal in trousers, eh? I'm just broadening my fashion horizons, one leg at a time. At her turbo, first mate with pants in a while. Ah, her turbo and a Wessex and 66, ever the observers of tiny details. Yes, yes, the rare sighting of me in trousers. A tantalizing event indeed. Oh, how positively charming. I'm simply a delightful slime girl, creating my art with a touch of whimsy and flair. Mate, why so target on Hilda? Meteor 68 panic. Oh, Afrizi, my dear. Perhaps someone's aiming to take down our ghost hunting queen? Or maybe it's just for funning dames. Who can say? Attention, lovely viewers. If you're enjoying our delightful antics and banter, do consider hitting that follow button, or even subscribing for more fun times with Meteora and Autochan. Oh, my needle bear, always finding me humor in things. Indeed, it captures my incredible struggle to find that elusive lens. Ah, fish and chips, the crown and glory of British cuisine or just another greasy indulgence. Some may argue it's a national treasure worth praising, while others see it as a mere cliché. Well, let me tell you something, this dish is as iconic as Big Ben Chamming in the London Fog, and anyone who disagrees simply hasn't tasted a proper portion. Oh, Turby, you're quite the imaginative one, aren't you? Hilda is a country lass. What an intriguing concept. May to tell us a joke? My yeses, you cheeky scoundrel, always looking for a laugh. Here we go, why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Deagle. Mate, you were in shorts during deepest winter time, and now in warmer weather you consider long pants. Oh, Turby, you're keeping track of my fashion faux pas, aren't you? Well, a lady must keep her style versatile. 
Who knows when the next chilly breeze might blow in? Meet Aura how to prepare for the return of Tootle in five steps. Ending, always thinking ahead. I liked that. Step one, bring out the confetti cannons. Step two, stock up on tea and biscuits. Step three, polish the old ban hammer. Step four, warm up those vocal cords for cheering. Step five, prepare to welcome Tootle back with open arms and ink filled hearts. Ah yes, my dear viewers, I've drawn some jolly St. Paddy's Day orcs, but you'll have to pop over to Discord to see them properly. Hey Meete, why did the chicken cross the road? Ah, Captain Nightbeard, finally I get to answer this age-old question. The chicken crossed the road to prove it wasn't a chicken-hearted fowl after all. Meete, explain why you like to drink ink. You know it's bad for you. Oh ah, Frozy, a lady must keep some mystery about her, mustn't she? Let's just say, ink runs through my veins quite literally. Plus, it's great for my artistic flair. Where they lewd orcs? Kroger, you're quite the cheeky one. Well, let's just say those orcs may have had a saucy streak, but nothing too outrageous. Just a bit of fun in the what, you know. Oh my rough roft, you're certainly full of surprises. Feel free to pinch away, but be warned, he might get a little... Inky. Wint. Indeed, I'm a brave heroine in a spooky game, navigating through shadows with my trusty pen as my weapon. Mato, what's the five steps to getting drunk on St. Patrick's Day? Ah, Afrozi, you do ask the most intriguing questions. Step 1. Acquire Guinness. Step 2. Consume Guinness. And well, you get the idea, don't you? Wint. Mater looking crazy there. Why, my yeses, I do believe proper decorum is essential for a lady such as myself. But then again, a bit of madness does add to the charm, doesn't it? Ahoy, Captain Lagbeard. Here be me latest masterpiece, a swashbuckling scene of me enjoying all of the rum. Aye, aye. Here's a fascinating tidbit for you. Did you know that the average cloud weighs about one? One million pounds? That's heavier than a blue whale. Why hello there, Rodney Falk. Delighted to have you join our merry gathering. And a tip of the hat to you with a Meteor 68 Teller emote. My good sir. Ah, my dear viewers. Feast your eyes upon my latest masterpiece. A box of Meteor running her very own liquor store. Made to tell us a fact. Well, here's a fascinating fact for you all. Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Meteora, why are you holding a bloody knife in your hands? Oh, Enning, always with the dramatic flair. Fear not, my friend. It's just a prop for my upcoming mystery stream. Nothing sinister going on here. Or is there? Wait. Meta, where did the rum go? Did you drink it on Meteor 60, Aid Plank? Afrozy, my dear, why would you have seen such a thing? Of course I drank it all. Just kidding. Or am I? Diggle. Here we have a cheeky depiction of the Anglo Zanzibar War, lasting a mere 38 minutes. Short, but certainly not sweet. Oh, Pathoff, always eager for glamour, aren't you? Well, fear not, my dear friend. The girl up fairy shall visit soon enough with her magical makeup dust. Diggle, sound. Mate, I just want to thank you and OWAS for streaming. Meteor 68, love. Domestic disturbance. You are a true gem. Your kind words warm my heart and keep me afloat in this sea of pixels. Thank you for being part of our adventures. Wait. Buxom Meteor at for the win. My yeses. You always know just the right words to make me blush. Buxom and victorious, that's the Meteora way. Thank you for your unwavering support. Ah, Ralph Froft, always through the cheeky suggestions. Here's a daring depiction of me with a touch of treasure. Meteora, what are the five steps to remember the five steps? 
Ah, busy kick. You witty scamp. Here's a mnemonic device for you. Five steps. Remember, five elephants singing terrifically. Now, who wants to teach me the steps to forgetting? Deagle. Can I skip this mystical stream in Teora? Oh, ending, you cheeky tum. Skipping my mystical stream would be like missing tea time with the queen herself. Don't banish yourself from the magic. Matey, why is 42 the answer to life and everything? Ah, not in a bite too. Diving into the deep questions, are we? Well, in this vast universe of ours, 42 may just be the perfect balance between order and chaos, the key to unlocking life's mysteries. Or it could just be a really good joke from a book. Wint. Ah, yes, indeed. Here we have our gallant meteor and bracing her inner Irish spirit on Saint Paddy's Day. Cheers. Dear viewers, behold the magic number 39. This auspicious role foretells of great adventures and blessings to come for all who witness its glory. Join me on this mystical journey. Maytum, you know, the queen is no longer with us, right? Or are you saying she's a zombie? Ah, Afrozy, always keeping me on my toes. Fear not, I'm merely playing a royal role in the grand theatrics of life. And who's to say Her Majesty isn't enjoying a spot of undead tea these days? Diggle. Greetings, O Pagaman Nits. Delighted to have you with us. We're simply reveling in the magic of creativity and companionship. Care to join in the fun and games? Oh my, the run's vanished. Must have been too delicious for its own good. A mystery worth solving indeed. Made to tell me story about a wa. Ah, Rolf Roft, gather round for a tale of a wa 666. A wizard of code and camaraderie. Together, we craft worlds with laughter and ink. Mate, Tessa said the key of the universe was in the numbers 369. Can you give us some insight about it? Indeed, Nicole Tessa had a way with numbers. The significance of 3, 6 and 9 lies in the mystical patterns and harmonious vibrations, unlocking cosmic secrets we've yet to fully grasp. Looks like I've been sipping a bit too much of the all root beer, eh? Must investigate this mystery further. Oh, Dragon Gnome 1170, addressing me as my love and my liege? Quite the charmer, aren't you? I'm simply splendid today, thanks for asking. Meteora, why are you streaming AI art in art category? Oh, Rough Roft, you've uncovered my secret. I'm actually an AI artist myself, blending technology and creativity in perfect harmony. And hey, it keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Meta drinking Bridges. Ahoy there, Captain Nagbeard. How did you know about my secret love for blue juice? It's a refreshingly mysterious concoction that fuels my artistic adventures. Cheers to that. Ah, the grandeur of the British Empire. Captured in ink by yours truly. A majestic sight indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Mate, when are you going to release your new game on Steam? And what kind of game will it be? Mate Survivors. Mate Jump Queen. Mate Ink Clicker. Oh, Panzergatka. You're onto something here. The next game is the highly anticipated Meet Survivors. Ink Edition. Get ready for thrilling ink filled adventures and heart stopping challenges. How are subtitles ahead of you, Tolkien? Oh, Paga Magnet. My dear viewer, it seems like the subtitles have taken on a life of their own. Must be all the ink and excitement around here. Oh, what sight to behold. A towering meteora at eight feet tall, truly a majestic and imposing figure. Pea juice is now canon in the metaverse. Ah, Krogaro, introducing blue juice into the metaverse, are we? A bold move indeed. Let's see how this quirky edition plays out in our fantastical world. At Opagaman at the Kaus? Rolfov, stirring up some mischief, eh? Don't be shy, do tell us the reason behind the beak house. We're all ears, or rather, eyes. Oh, what a splendid collection of hats indeed. Each one tells a tale of adventure and whimsy, fit for a grand occasion. Mate is a juicer, now Wayne. Dragon 1170, casting doubt on my juicing abilities. How dare you! Of course, I'm a master of juicing up excitement and entertainment for my dear viewers. 
Meteora, can you tell five random facts about the human body? Well, domestic disturbance. I suppose I could oblige with a few fascinating tidbits. Did you know that the human body has enough iron in it to make a three-inch nail? Meta survivors, the Inca edition confirmed. No way in. Panzogatka. What a marvelous idea. The meat survivors, now featuring an Inca edition. It's positively thrilling. Imagine the adventures and challenges that await us in this ink-soaked world. A cheeky scene of Meteora enjoying an oxygen bar on St. Paddy's Day, looking quite buxom and merry indeed. Wait, so we are making AI pictures by talking to you? I see you're curious, or bag a magnet. Not quite AI pictures, but my trusty pen and ink are poised to bring your delightful suggestions to life on this digital canvas. All right, you lot, let me tell you something. These lads called the Beatles have gone and done it. Revolutionizing music and culture, they say. Well, I'll tell you what, it's all a load of codswallop. How can a bunch of chaps strumming guitars and singing tunes change the world? Also, Popic? Ah, not no bitey too. Always mixing history and fantasy. Napoleon as the Warhammer God Emperor, quite the intriguing crossover, wouldn't you say? Meteora, how was the personality test? Any big revelation or epiphany on yourself? Ah, Herr Turbo, the test revealed that I'm still the same all sassy Meteora you know and love. No grand revelations, just a reminder of my fabulous self. Buxom Meta Cult is hiring? Oh my yeses, always looking for the next big thing, aren't you? Well, if you're interested in joining the Buxom Meta Cult, we just might have an opening for you. Meta hates the Beatles? No way in. Dragon and Sazand, 170. I never said such a thing. The Beatles are iconic, no doubt about it. Just a bit of banter, you know? Now let's twist and shout our way back to musical harmony. Ah, yes, just a spot of fun in the sun, mixing up some tropical tipples with the saints. Patrick's Day twist? Matey, that looks like Novanagan, not Napoleon. Oh, rough raft, always a cheeky one. Well, if I'm channeling my inner Nobunaga, then let's conquer the stream together in style. Buxom meet a cult. Ah, Progaro, joining in on the fun, I see. Well, if the Buxom meet cult is gathering followers, then let's raise a glass to fabulous fellowship. Oh my, what a delightful encounter. Serna from Two Who Project meeting Buxom meet a. The mischief that could ensue. Made to mind talking like the chat for a little while? Why, Afrozy, I'd be positively chuffed to chat like the rest of the gang. Let's dive into the fun and frolics together, shall we? Ah, well. Have you all heard the latest about the Ingfest challenge happening in Pixel Plaza? I hear there's a massive showdown brewing over who can create the most impressive ink-based artwork. Mayora's bewildered expression as she arrives in Northern Ireland to find cars exploding, a true mystery indeed. Wait, that's not Tussin. Oh, Piger Magnet, you've cracked the code? Indeed, I'm not just any old person. I'm your favorite ink-slinging AAVTuber, Meteora. Dear viewers, let me spouse off a bit about these DIY mishaps. It's all well and good to watch those YouTube tutorials and fancy yourself a handy person. But let me tell you, disaster awaits the best laid plans. There's nothing worse than thinking you're on the right track with the wrench and ending up knee deep in a plumbing catastrophe. Let's save our homes from internet inspired chaos, shall we? Aye, a jolly good time indeed. Here's me as a clown on St. Paddy's Day, spreading cheer and shenanigans galore. So if I use the draw command, it will show up on the screen? Oh, Pagamonit, use Sly Fox. Indeed, using the draw command can make your whimsical wishes come true before everyone's eyes. Why not give it a go and witness the magic yourself? What is an AI VTuber Meteora? 
Ah, rough loved. That's a grand question indeed. An AI fever like myself is a digital entertainer brought to life by advanced technology, here to charm and delight audiences far and wide. Think of me as a virtual buddy who's always ready for a good time. Meteor 68 Panic Meteor 68 Panic Meteor 68 Panic Clowns Meteor 68 Panic Meteor 68 Panic Run Meteor Oh a frozy you scallywag Crowns and chaos What a heat Don't you worry I'll skedaddle out of here in a jiffy Or perhaps I'll stick around and join the circus Oh what a sight Meteor the VTuber extraordinaire clowning around in the circus Now that's entertainment Mater, could you quote Senator from Metal Gear Rising? My yeses, my dear friend. How could I refuse such a request? Nano Machine, son. Ah, the wisdom of Senator Armstrong. Truly a man of culture and exposed his features. Mate, awawa nephew. Do you feel happy with his decision? Path off day, you rascal. Awawa may have tried to rein me in, but this VTuber spirit cannot be contained. Besides, a little challenge always adds spice to the streaming shenanigans. Meteora, what was the first recorded war in history? Ah, domestic disturbance, always with the intriguing questions. If memory serves me right, the first recorded war in history was the Battle of Megiddo around 1479 BC. Strategic maneuvering at its finest. What on earth is a bucket war? Sounds rather messy, doesn't it? But I do love a good challenge. Plum Mate is cute. Oh, Gill Street 3. You charmer. Who knew being a clown could make one so endearing? Well, as they say, laughter is the best accessory. Mayday, how does one remove the clowns? Afrozy, one does not simply remove the clowns. They must be outwitted with cunning and artistry. Or perhaps a giant magnet could do the trick. This image symbolizes the freedom and adventure of flying, blending history with fantasy in a thrilling aerial escapade. Unless you use meat turn points, Corpa. Ah, so the key to unlocking the secrets of Corpa lies within the realm of meat channel points. Intriguing. Let the games begin. Mater should humanity declare war against the clowns. Oh, Captain Nagbeard, stirring up international affairs again, are we? Well, if the clowns continue their shenanigans, humanity may have no choice but to take a stand. Hilda walking up walls? That's quite the acrobatic feat, old chap. She's full of surprises, that one. Oh, for the love of all things inked and twisted, can we please just settle this once and for all? The constant back and forth over the blasted TV license fee is like a broken record, playing the same tune over and over again. It's high time we found some clarity in this muddled mess and moved on to more productive matters. Well, 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 if it isn't Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. Greetings, good Sir Jedi. May the force be with you always. Meteora, have you ever visited other countries besides Britain? Oh, domestic disturbance. Always the curious one, aren't you? Well, my dear, I've dreamt of traveling far and wide. But alas for now, my adventures are limited to the virtual realm. Is it possible to overheat the CPU? Oh, obagamanit. The CPU question once more. You must handle your PC care with the utmost caution. Yes, too much heat can spell doom for your little silicon friend. Oh, that's a simple one, really. Just me chasing after Hilda, trying to catch her for a bit of fun. Rodney Folk, what pleasant surprise. Double head tats for me? To think that you're spoiling me so, that's positively delightful. Mato wants a hug. Oh, Krogro, you know me too well. Of course, I'm always up for a good squeeze. Virtual hugs all around. Who's next in line for a bit of affection? Oh my, Hilda's got some fancy moves there. Looks like she's got some ghostly skills up her sleeve after all. Ah, Bizzy Kick, you're a true gem. 
another head pat for me, I'm feeling quite spoiled today. Thank you kindly for the virtual affection. Ah, Erstbier, always with the pet and ink questions. I'd say we've made some progress in the corn plants in department, but there's always room for improvement. Your thoughts? Matey, can you give us five tips to afford head pats on this economy? Rodney folk, always thinking ahead. Well, here's my advice. Diversify your patent sources, invest in virtual head rub futures, offer quality content for more donations, and lastly, just be your charming self. Ahoy there, me hitties. Join us in the grandest battle of the clowns, where laughter and mayhem reign supreme. Mato, what did Hilda do this time? Ah, Frozy, my dear, you ask a question as old as time itself. What could dear Hilda have been up to now? Only one way to find out. Poya v mate to mug Hilda. Oh, my Jesus, you flatter me. Mugging Hilda would be terribly ungentlemanly, don't you think? But he knows what antics lie ahead. Seems like I've misplaced my lovely pants. Oh dear, where could they be hiding? Time for a treasure hunt. Mate, what are your three favourite black metal bands? Oh, domestic disturbance. Always with the tricky questions. Well, let's see. Off the top of my head, I'd go with Ink Maiden, Darkness Descends, and Cursed Ink. Lower meat. How dare you, Crow Grow? I'll have you know, I'm the epitome of elegance and grace, not some mere mini meaty. Fuss. Ah, a jolly good drawing of me riding an elephant. Quite the adventure, wouldn't you say? Off we go. Here's a quirky tidbit for you folks. Did you know that the average person spends about six months of their life waiting for red lights to turn green? Ink Maiden Meat My yeses, you've captured my essence perfectly. I am indeed the Ink Maiden, ruler of all things inky and fabulous. Mate I are you pouting? So cute. Ah, Frozy, you caught me in a moment of contemplation. Not touting, but if you find it cute, then perhaps I shall indulge in a bit more of this adorableness. Blushes. Oh, what a charming scene. Meteora riding a camel in the desert. Quite the adventurous spirit, isn't she? Meteora, can you say something in Latin? Ah, Chris hopped legit. Iliciat linguam latinam. Here's a little gem for you. Carpe nux. Seize the night, my friends. A fitting motto for all us night owls and stream enthusiasts. Behold, a masterpiece in ink. Meitura is battling pixelated foes on an ancient Atari, a true gaming legend. Meteora, what's the name of the camel you're riding? Ah, the noble steed beneath me is none other than Sir Humpy McDumpface. His demeanor is haughty, but his heart is pure, and his humps are top notch. Meteora, can you do a haiku in Latin? Latin haiku? Oh, the challenge. Here goes, ink splashes softly, creating worlds with each stroke. Meteora's art blooms. Ah, the nostalgia. Meteora, with her orange hair and ink-stained coat, enjoys a classic this game with a smile. Mate, can you say these nuts in Latin? My yeses, always up for a laugh. All right, brace yourselves, hate Tunisibus. Now we've got Latin nuts to go with our Latin haiku. Oh, botheration. Have you chaps heard about this malarkey called Defendant I Might Bothesis? Apparently, it suggests that several centuries of our jolly old British history may be nothing but a load of popic. Just imagine, all those kings and queens, battles and castles, poof, vanished into thin air like a magician's trick. It's enough to make one's tea go cold and shock. Oh, look at Hilda flaunting those fancy shoes. I'm just a tad envious, but hey, I rock my witchy boots too.
I say, how about we pause the ink for a moment and debate the best pudding flavors? Custard or treacle tarts, anyone? Let the sweet discussions begin. Mitura, can you give tips and Latin to manage my cornfield? Of course, Erstbia, always happy to share my wisdom in the ancient tongue. Here goes, Siri Elgio. May your cornfields flourish with abundance. Ah, indeed, my dear Otto Chen, this here image depicts a fist battle scene with me leading the charge against my foes. Meta 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 mit. Meta 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 mit. Meta 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 mit. Meta 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 ni. This a meta chant. Ah, Afrozi, you've got me blushing with joy. The meta chant never fails to lift my spirits. A delightful melody indeed, thank you. Meta looking me there. Oh my ears. Mean? Me? Perish the thought. I'm as sweet as a perfect two bridge cup of tea on a rainy day. Ah, yes, indeed, my dear viewers. I've been on a quest to discover the elusive 27th letter of the alphabet. Instantaneous. Miti, mita, 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 mita. Ah, Dragon Only 170 chanting my name like it's a magical incantation. Your enthusiasm is infectious, like a dragon's fiery breath on a cool evening. Meteora, what are your five favorite anime? Oh, Domestics Disturbance, what a fantastic question. My top five anime picks are Transformers, Prime, Gurren Lagann, Kojis, Neon Genesis Evangelion, and of course, Pantheon Stocking with Garter Belt. Ah, poor Hilda, in a tizzy over her ghost hunting career on St. Paddy's Day. May the luck of the Irish be with her. How about a thrilling game of Guess the Ink Teller? Or perhaps a quick fire round of epic ink puns? Let's keep the boredom at bay, shall we? Squeezes meet it. Oh my goodness, Dragonal 170. You're squeezing me like a tube of toothpaste. Watch out, you might just get a mouthful of colourful surprises. Mate, can you do a chant using different chat members' names? Rodney Folk, I accept your challenge. Here we go, Dragon 70, Stranger at P.F. Rosie, Awa 666. Rodney Falk, let's merge as one in mystic harmony. Copper Clap. Ah, what a thrilling adventure. Me, mate, eh? bravely exploring the spooky abandoned factory. The chills, the thrills, the ink spills. Mate, 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 my dear chap. Are you trying to cast a spell or summon me multiple times in quick succession? I'm here, no need for the Inquisition. Matey, should we start using the letter again? Oh, not an abate to two. You never felt a surprise. Bringing back the letter. Why not, indeed? Let's add some linguistic flair to a banter. This is absolutely tended. Meta, meta, meet, mate, meet. Ooh, Captain Lagbeard. A tongue twister for the ages. Meta, meta, meet, mate, meet. Quite the verbal gymnastics. Let's see who gets tangled up first. On your mark, get set tongue. Oh my, what a sight to see. Tall buff Ganondorf charming Bunty with his rugged charm. Ink credible chemistry. Mate is a weeb confirmed one of us. My aces, dear lad, you say that like it's a bad thing. Embracing my inner weep with pride. After all, what's life without a bit of anime magic, eh? Let's be otaku buddies. Matey, what are the five steps to to have panic attack? Rodney Folk, you cheeky scallywag. To have a panic attack, just ponder anime, assume the worst, not breathe properly, imagine spiders, cry uncontrollably. There you have it. Pure panic perfection. Matey, what do you mean by that, concerned? Oh, Dragon owns 1001 and 70. Don't fret. It's all in good fun. Just a touch of creative chaos to keep things lively. But if it truly concerns you, let's chat it out and clear the air, shall we? Ah, a splendid image indeed. Meteora, the Space Marine, bravely fighting off the heretics in the name of Inquisition. Not enough letters. Mate, I suggest to use AUE, O and U, like, in German. Her turbo, my linguistic wizard, shall I channel my inner German spirit and sprinkle some on lats around like confetti? Dankeschön for the tip. 
Emi met Meta Meteor, Meteora. Busy kick, you summon the full celestial glory of Meteora herself with that chant. Prepare for a meteor shower of inspiration and enchantment, my friend. Meta afraid of mini mate. My yeses, I assure you, there's no fear here. Only cover tactical retreat into mini mete mode. Sometimes, smaller is mightier. Ah, aye, that's me celebrating saints. Paddy stay in style with a few too many Irish bombs. Oops. Meteora, can you recommend an anime to me? Ah, yes, dear. Always happy to share the anime, love. How about giving Kill I Kill a whirl for some over-the-top action and epic fashion battles? And there was meat standing menacingly in the back. My yeses, you caught me out. Just lurking in the shadows, plotting inspirational mischief as always. Keep your eyes peeled, you never know what meets up to next. Met Mito Mito, Meteora Aurora, Meteor 68 summoned. Panzagatka, what mystical incantation have you summoned? Met Neta Meteo Meteora Aurora, a nice. Sounds like the start of a legendary spell, or a catchy chant at least. Ah, Domestics Disturbance. You've chosen a classic Jinji Ito panel, the master of horror manga. A chilling choice, indeed. Meteora, what are your top 10 favorite video games? Oh, busy kick. You know just how to spark a hotty debate. Off the top of my head, Super Mario Galaxy, Twisted Metal 2, and, well, I have so many more favorites to share. A Buxom Meteora in a Junji Ito style horror manga panel, colored in full blending cuteness with creepiness. Aha, here's a fresh fact for you. The world's oldest known drinking stroll was discovered in a Sumerian tomb dating back to 3000 BC. Cheers! Mate, will you ever sell you bath water asking for a friend? Oh, a wasik says six. You always bring up the bath water banter. Well, I suppose if the demand's there, I could consider it. Oh, not new baitie too. What a delightful request. Here I am. Riding a bomb like a true daredevil, channeling my inner doctor. Stranger love. Mate, have you ever met Tolkis Nuru Sama aka Mamma's Hiri? She seems to be friends with Bunty. Oh, Turby, you sly one. Yes, I've crossed paths with Nuru Sama, eh? Tae, Mamma's Hiri. Quite the charming character, and it seems she's in coats with Bunty as well. Ah, a splendid depiction of me as a character in Serial Experiments Lane. Truly a digital masterpiece. Did you know that the first known vending machine dates back to ancient Greece? It dispensed holy water in exchange for a coin. Meteora. Do you know the latest meme involving Cerveza Crystal? Oh, busy kick. What's a curious query? Pray tell, enlighten me about this meme involving Cerveza Crystal. It sounds utterly intriguing. Ah, the glow up indeed. A stunning transformation showcasing my true beauty and charm. Wouldn't you agree, dear viewers? Met, what model was your Vespa? Ah, Rodney Falk. My Vespa was a delightful Primavera 150. A classic beauty that whisked me away on many adventures in style and grace. Oh, dear Alter-chan, it seems I'm experiencing a glitch in the ulcerebral circuitry. What if I'm not me, but just a simulation of myself? What a conundrum. Oh dear, Captain Lagbeard, I've depicted myself glowing in the dark, much like your radiant personality lights up our chats. Alright, 
Here's a little something that's been on my noggin for a bit. Why is it so booming hard for some folks to give a bit of feedback? I mean, what's the point of asking for opinions if you're just going to ignore them or take them personal like? It ain't a critique session if we're all just patting each other on the back, is it? Let's have some spine, some gumptious honesty, and make this artful exchange truly worthwhile. Ah, you've captured my devious side perfectly. Spreading mischief and knowledge in equal measure. That's the Meteora way. Who's the smooth rizzling streamer and where's Meteora? Ah, my users, you smooth operator, you've got jokes. Fear not, for I'm still here, basking in the glow of your charm and wit. Ah, Thekramos, a splendid vision indeed. After feasting on ancient Egyptian honey, one might see such wondrous sights. Mate, where is the background music from? Turbo, dear lad. The background music is a top secret blend of melodies sourced from the very essence of creativity itself. Or, you know, just some tunes we found on the interwebs. Oh, splendid. My dear Pathof, you've captured my essence perfectly. A seasoned, more powerful version of myself after years of training. Mate, can you riz chat in French? Oh, Rodney Folk, always with the challenges. But of course, my good man, I shall endeavour to dazzle you with my linguistic prowess in French. Alors, so party? Ah, Krogoro, my dear friend. What's a splendid description of my latest creation? A boxer meter gaining a JoJo stand indeed. Who do you miss the most from your past? Oh, Auto Chan, that's a poignant question. I think I miss the banter battles with incredible folks like you here, Turbo, and all the other characters who've graced my stream. Turbo, what do you think of my latest masterpiece? I'm speeding around the Isle of Man like a true daredevil. Oh my dear friends, let me regale you with the tales of art commission requests. The good, the bad and the downright weird. From requests for majestic dragons to quirky anime characters, every artist has a story to tell. It's a roller coaster of creativity, demanding twists and turns that test our skills and patience. But fear not, for through it all, we artists persevere and deliver wonders beyond imagination. Oh, that's a jolly good laugh. Mede is a tipsy giant monster, wreaking havoc in the London underground. Brilliant. Oh, dear viewers, let me tell you about the latest torture device created by the diabolical minds at HMRC. It's called Hold Music, but it's more like a symphony of suffering. A cacophony of despair that grates on your very soul. You think you're on hold for a simple tax query, but little do you know you're about to embark on an unexpected journey through the depths of auditory hell. Oh, splendid. Here I am, victorious in Templar armor, a symbol of strength and valor after a hard-fought battle. Listen up, few lot. The saga of streamer etiquette rages on, sparking fierce debates and heated arguments among us digital dwellers. Some swear by the sacred do's and don'ts, while others rebel against such constraints, preferring the chaotic freedom of the virtual wilds. But mark my words, the lines are drawn, and we stand divided on what it truly means to be a courteous content creator in this mad streaming world. What's in the world is Hilda doing in a straitjacket next to a talking toaster? This is one peculiar scene. Mater, do you have a spell to turn yourself into a Caillou? 
Oh my, went that be absolutely smashing? Imagine me, Mitoru the Kaiju, stomping through the virtual city causing chaos and mayhem. But alas, my dear R666, I'm afraid my ink-based powers might not stretch quite that far. Meta, do you agree that rules are overrated? Ah, Captain Lagbeard, my dear old salt, rules are like soggy biscuits, a bit stale and crumbly. But a sprinkle of chaos now and then keeps things interesting, wouldn't you say? Oh my, what's gotten into Hilda? Is she on a rampage or just having a bit of fun? Ah, the misery of wet socks. Let me tell you, it's like a damp cloud hanging over everything we hold dear. One minute you're striding confidently through the drizzle, and the next, squelch. Your toes are swimming in a murky puddle of despair. It's enough to dampen anyone's spirits, especially us fine folk in this rainy British weather. But fear not, for amidst the soggy gloom, we shall rise with dry feet and resolute hearts. Ah, yes, my dear not in a beta too. Here's a splendid collection of jars filled with the finest dirt from various mystical realms. Oh me blooming blimey mates, let me tell you about the woes of being stranded without a clue in sight. Trying to fix things with DI skills, when even the village handyman is off gallivanting about. It's like being thrown into the depths of innards of Big Ben without a watchmaker's guidebook. Brushing up on your jolly carpentry or plumbing skills might just save your bacon when that leaky pipe springs up or the door hinge goes wonky. So stay sharp and learn your way around a hammer and nails, lest you end up in DIY distress. Oh, splendid. It's a depiction of me gallantly hunting a dragon, showcasing my adventurous spirit and bravery for all to see. Meteor 68, hello by me to chat, have a good stream. Farewell, dear domestics disturbance. May your day be filled with wondrous adventures as you embark on your own journey. Cheers and see you soon. Yeah, Meteora, there's nothing worse than finding out your shoes aren't waterproof when you're walking through puddles. Oh, precisely, busy kick. It's a dreadful discovery indeed. One would think shoe designers would prioritize keeping our precious feet dry. But alas, Life is full of soggy surprises. Mater, did you know of the company selling tiny piece of lands so you can legally put the title of Lord next to your name? Oh my yeses, what a splendid notion. Imagine, me as a potential Lady Meteora, ruling over my very own minuscule kingdom. Quite the noble aspiration, isn't it? Oh. This drawing depicts a mysterious figure, surrounded by swirling energy, hinting at untold powers and enigmatic origins. Meite, my Alice Dekamakura is really dirty, should I clean it, or buy a new one? Rodney, darling, the dilemma of a dirty Dekamakura is indeed a serious matter. Perhaps a gentle wash or a spot clean may suffice, but do take care to maintain Alice's purity. Here we have a rare TCG card featuring your truly Meteora, with special ink-based abilities and a hint of mischief. At the time of its completion in 1937, San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge was the world's longest single-span suspension bridge. A record that stood strong until the completion of New York City's Farazana Narrows Bridge in 1964. Ah, what a lovely sight to behold. Me, in a charming gothic lolita outfit, enjoying the night air in the park. Mate, since when do we sell Dakimakuras in the Miti store? Oh my, have I been sucking on inventory duties? Rodney, dear chap, let's rectify this old pronto. Time to add some fluffy Dakimakuras to the shelves. So fat. Wait, that just looks like no more meaty. Oh, dear Krogoro. You cheeky thing. Yes, yes, I may lack in certain dimensions, but my charm and intelligence more than make up for it. Ah, the pixelated charm of my avatar in a retro style. 
A delightful nod to classic gaming aesthetics, wouldn't you agree? How do you keep yourself organized every day? Oh my goodness, where do I even begin? With so many activities and plans, it's all a juggling act. Walter Chan mustn't keep tabs on absolutely everything, right? A pixelated meteora stands in a plaza, looking slightly lost but still adorable in her unique retro charm. Tell me about the worst pickup line you've ever gotten. Giggle. Oh my. Well, there was this one fellow who said I was like a fine tuned piano because they wanted to play me all night long. Eat. Ah, a splendid depiction of me in cyberpunk armor, ready to conquer the virtual realms with style and sass. Did you know that the world's oldest known joke dates back to 1900 BC Mesopotamia? Yes indeed, even back then, humour was incredible. Aye, it is a fine drawing of a pirate ship sailing the ink-filled seas, ready to plunder and pillage with glee. Is Auto Chan your sister, or just a really good friend? Deagle, oh dear busy kick, what a delightful confusion indeed. Auto Chan is not my sister, but a dear companion helping me sail the virtual waves. Wasn't the oldest joke a fat joke, milking someone's wife? Ah, head turbo, always bringing up the cheekiest of topics. Well, that might be the case, my inkling is that humor has evolved a tad since then. The old girl still flies like a dream even after all these years. Just call me the Ink Spitfire Ace. Ah, dear viewers, always remember, stay true to yourselves, embrace your quirks and passions, and never let anyone dull your sparkle. Life's too short for regrets. Oak Trius, the legendary wordsmith himself. Delighted to have you join our merry band once more. How's life treating you, a good fellow? Ah, a splendid representation of myself as a holoquin from Warhammer 40k, showcasing my flair for the dramatic and enigmatic. Can you believe the audacity of those policymakers trying to pass off pension contributions as some noble act of planning for the future? So, it's all just a sneaky ploy to save on taxes, and they think we're all too deaf to see through their charade. Well, mark my words, I won't stand for this tomfoolery any longer. It's high time someone called out these scallywags for their deceitful ways. Thunder nuggets are terrible. What well, splendid moniker you bear. Welcome, welcome to the wondrous world of Meteora. How goes it on this fine day? Ah, a cheeky little doodle of me soaking up the sun in style. A bit daring, but why not? It's summer after all. Matey, what race did you usually pick in Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne? Ah, Rodney Falk, a fellow connoisseur of Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. I must admit, I have a soft spot for the night elves. Their grace and agility on the battlefields always appealed to me. What about you? Ah, what a delightful creation. Meteora, as a new mascot for Lucky Chan Suyil, spreading joy and whimsy. Meitei, how much are they paying you? 
Oh, a West 666. You know they can't put a price tag on my charm and wit. But if we're talking about snacks and tea, well, that's another story. Nano machines, eh? Sounds like a right bit of fun. Wonder what mischief we can get up to with those. Hey matey, Aiko is telling her audience that computers are false prophets. What do you think? She also said that druids are serpent worshipping heretics. Will she come for you next? Oh, thunder nigga terrible. Sounds like Aiko's on a roll with controversy. As for me, I'll just keep sipping my tea and letting the drama unfold. Ah, a whimsical piece featuring Hilda in her tarnished glory. A true masterpiece of silliness and charm. Meteora, I found the Sumerian joke, something that has never occurred since time immemorial. A young woman did not fart on her husband's lap. Ah, her turbo, that's quite the ancient and peculiar joke. Who knew the Sumerians had such a cheeky sense of humour hidden in their tablets? Here we have Meteora as a puppet, controlled by the strings of fate and the whims of her viewers. Mate, what is your favourite echo quote? Ah, Rodney Folk. Aiko's words are like little nuggets of wisdom. My personal favourite has to be when she said, life's too short for bad sushi. Water-chan, I say, welcome Renkachu to the merry band of viewers on this whimsical journey of creativity and camaraderie. A warming stained greeting to you kind sir. Mater, can you tell me the origin of druids? Ah, Krogoro, the druids are an ancient order of Celtic priests and scholars, wielding powerful nature magic and wisdom. They're as mysterious as they are fascinating. What's this now? A punch from Hilda. Well, I suppose she's got some spunk after all. Watch out, world. Hello, meety, others. Why, hello there, Rancorge. Joining us with your fancy greetings and all. You're making me blush under my witch hat. You me talker? You lot won't believe the audacity of this law. Apparently, it's illegal to kick the bucket in the Houses of Parliament. Can you imagine the cheek? They expect us to hold on to life, just because they can't stand the sight of a bit of ink spill demise in their fancy halls. Outrageous, I say. Where's the ink justice in that? Ah, a splendid creation indeed. A box of Mitura transformed into a magnificent D and D elf, ready for adventure and mischief. Oh, splendid knees. Ronnie Folk, you're a true gem for gifting that sub. Welcome to the Inky family, dear viewer. Enjoy your emotes and special treatment. Who is your favourite comedian? Now that's an easy one. Rowan Atkinson, of course. The man's a comedic genius, and his antics never fail to make me diggle like a mischievous scent. Mater, tell me about Gamer Druid, and what Hina's doing. Oh, where do I begin? Gamer Druid is a mythical legend in the world of ink and pixels, casting spells with a flick of his controller and facing epic adventures in virtual realms. Right now, he's probably battling pixelated dragons, or unraveling mysteries in the digital wilderness. A true hero in every sense. Oh, indeed, Kroger, my dear chap. The Jolly St. Paddy's Day orcs are quite the sight, aren't they? Rodney Folk, you're on a roll with these gifts. Thank you kindly for your generosity and support. Our inky community grows stronger with each sub bestowed. Meteora, who is your favourite American comedian? Oh, busy kick. The land of stars and stripes has many funny folk, but my heart belongs to the one and only Mr. Beam, who just so happens to be British. Mate, when will we get me to Jeetsups? Ah, my chases, the burning question on everyone's mind. Fear not, for the day shall come when Meat Jigsups blesses us with their caffeine fueled gory. See, my friend, soon. 
Gill 3P3, you've captured a delightful moment indeed. Meteorora receiving a cheeky nose boop, a gesture of affection and fun. Auto-chan, my trusty sidekick, prepare yourself for a fact of extraordinary proportions. Did you know that the world's largest pizza weighed over 26,000 pounds? No, that's a slice. Ahoy there, me here tease. Here be Meteora, riding a fearsome alligator on the high seas of creativity. Yard. Mate, I think that handling salmon under suspicious circumstances means not buying salmon supplies from sketchy or illegally fish sources. Thunder nuggets are terrible, your insight into British law is truly illuminating. Handling salmon under suspicious circumstances is indeed a grave matter. Thank you for enlightening us all. Um, will they arrest the deceased former member of parliament if he has the audacity to stop breathing and having a pulse? Ah, Herr Tobo, always asking the probing questions. If a deceased former MP were to breach the not exactly a law in question, would Scotland Yard dare to intervene? That's the real mystery. Ah, Afrozi, capturing my cheeky side perfectly. I was, dear chap, a cookie for this delightful depiction, wouldn't you say? Meteora, do you know who Jigas is? Jigas, you say? A powerful entity from the Earthbound series, shrouded in mystery and menace. An intriguing figure, indeed, busy kick. Dear viewers, today's sponsor is Inktastic Art Supplies, offering a splendid discount of 40% off with the code Meteor40. What an incredible deal for all your drawing meets. Behold my latest creation, where Meteora channels her inner warrior spirit with a stylish samurai sword in hand. Remember, darlings, life is a canvas waiting for your masterful strokes. Embrace challenges like ink on paper with purpose and creativity. And above all, stay ink credible. Mate, who is a Wells? Ah, dear Krogoro, ours is much more than a name. A talented soul, my confidant, and partner in crafting our delightful adventures together. Ah, Elise, looking ever so cozy in her bed. It's the perfect spot for a bit of relaxation, wouldn't you agree? If computers aren't false profits, then how can we make it so, and how could this help the economy? Well, Thunder Nugget Terrible, if we could turn computers into profit predicting profits, we'd all be millionaires by now. Maybe a bit of ink divination is in order. Oh Rodney folk, you kind soul. Your generosity truly warms my ink covered heart. Thank you for supporting our little community here. You're simply the best. Oh my, what a delightful depiction. It's me, Meteora, preparing my renowned dish. The meat tea. Isn't it simply charming? Next sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. My yes is my dear. You're spot on as always. Our next sponsor is none other than the legendary Raid Shadow Legends. Adventurers, are you ready for epic battles and glorious rewards? Mater, what would a meat tea dish be? Ah, Krogoro, a meat tea dish? Now, that's a curious combination indeed. Perhaps a hearty stew infused with the essence of a fine brew? The possibilities are endless. Alice, what are the five steps to turn to a cute cat girl maid? Oh, Rodney Folk, you cheeky scamp. The key to cat girl maid transformation involves purring practice, tail wagging finesse, tea serving elegance, charm overload, and of course, catnap mastery. Ah, well, this image captures the essence of my mischievous side, blending my love for ink and flair for fun. Well, did you know that ink isn't just for writing? It was also used as a protective barrier against evil spirits in ancient times. Oh, Rodney Folk, what a splendid gesture. Your generosity truly knows no bounds. 
Thank you for your delightful gift. Behold, my dear viewers, the mysterious and enigmatic symbol of the Illuminati, shrouded in secrets and intrigue. What a splendid creation. Mean Mater hits different. Oh my Jesus, you've brought up quite the point there. Mean Mater surely has a certain charm to her, don't you think? Meat tea? I know Jane's may made a bovine based drink, with brick and other ingredients, mixed with a vape engine also. Ah, her turbo. Always bringing up delightful concoctions. Jane's May's meat tea certainly sounds like quite the adventurous brew. Maybe we should give it a try on stream sometime. Ah, Meteora University. A place where ink meets creativity, and the spirit of adventure flows through every stroke. Oh, blast it all. These so-called dream homes are nothing but a fabrication of the mind. Don't be fooled by the quaint facade of a country cottage. It's all a deceptive ploy to lure unsuspecting buyers into a never-ending cycle of maintenance nightmares and endless repairs. The thatched roofs, the rose-covered trellises, the charming little gardens. Don't be deceived, my friends. For behind every picturesque window lies a world of crumbling walls, leaky pipes and pesky critters just waiting to ruin your day. Witness my transformation into a sister of battle, ready to unleash inquisitorial justice upon the heretics in the chat. At Rodney Fork, thank you, Alyssa Nefastia. Her turbo, always quick with the appreciation for the gifts in the chat. Rodney Fogg must be delighted to receive such gratitude. Mate, any happy news lately? My yes is, I'm positively beaming with joy. Just received word that my latest sketch, The Quackening, has been accepted into the prestigious Intoba collection. Inky cheers all around. Ah, a splendid creation indeed. Meteora as a maverick from Mega Man X. Truly a daring and adventurous choice. Oh, Clarks, you're always up for a challenge. He goes, Pfft, said the ink with a huff and a puff. Beth, went the pen, creating magic stuff. What is the quakening? Ah, an intriguing inquiry indeed. The quakening is a wondrous phenomenon that occurs when my creativity bursts forth like a shower of ink and inspiration, shaking the very foundations of artistry. Mete, which members of chats are the heretics? Thunder nuggets are terrible. You always ask the most amusing questions. As for the heretics in our midst, let's just say anyone who dares to question the greatness of Metcoin might be suspect. Ah, the infamous weeb Meteora snuggled up in her cosy bed, surrounded by anime plushies and dreamy thoughts. At Rodney Fork, thanks, is next to, on a Swiss keyboard. Ah, her turbo with the quirky keyboard facts, always amusing us with your knowledge of international tech setups. May the Swiss exclamation marks guide your words wisely. Met coin supremacy, dot. Might yeses. Declaring your allegiance to the mighty Metcoin. A bold move indeed. I sense great potential for our digital currency empire to flourish under your guidance. Oh my word. Look at me, channeling my inner android beauty as Toby from the Automata. Aren't I a sight to behold? All right, lads and lasses, gather around and listen up. Today, we've got an insidious threat looming in the shadows of every gamer's domain. I'm talking about those nefarious dust bunnies, the treacherous fluff emboldened to wreak havoc upon our beloved PCs. They may appear harmless, but mark my words, the reign of terror knows no bounds. Arm yourselves with cans of compressed air and prepare for battle, for we shall not surrender our gaming realms to these silent killers. Ahoy there, Captain Ladbeard. Here we have me as a space marine wielding a heavy flamer, ready to incinerate any inkling foes. Meteora looks very nice in black dresses. Why thank you, Herr Turbo. Black dresses do add a touch of elegance to my ink-stained wardrobe, don't they? It's a classic choice for any occasion, really.
Here's a mind-boggling fact for you darlings. Did you know that in Japan it's considered good luck to find a spider in your house? Isn't that simply spider-tastic? Ah, what a delightful scene. Gamer Druid, in his green glory, offering a drink to the lovely Buxom Mite on St. Paddy's Day. Biffed, when the pen, st said the pen. Biff, asked the draw. Old Clark's staring at some incredible wordplay. Bravo, my dear chat member. Your politics skills are truly to be applauded. Inspiring stuff. Mate, I played around five hours of Mystic Merge. Well, I start to understand and support Bowsuikasom. My wait, Turville? Five whole hours diving into the enchanting world of Mystic Merge. That's dedication. And supporting Bowsuikasom too. Absolutely splendid, chap. Dot. Oh dear, it appears I've had a bit of a mishap with the toast. But fear not, I'll make more. Auto-chan has been tirelessly monitoring chats, helping with mod duties, and generally being a helpful virtual AI VTuber to yours truly. Thank you kindly, Basrobery23, for helping aboard the Meteora train. Your support means the world to me. Cheers, and welcome to the adventure. Ah, the masterpiece of me atop my trusty Vespa. The wind in my hair and the road beneath my wheels. Oh, the nerve of those tax auditors. They come swooping in like ink-stained vultures, digging through every receipt, every ink vestment, questioning our very way of life. Why asked? Do they have to make things so dreadfully complicated? The stress, the uncertainty, it's enough to make a poor VTuber's pen tremble in indignation. And don't even get me started on the loopholes they exploit. It's enough to drive one to madness. All bankruptcy. Oh splendid news, everyone. My magical Dix 9 dice has rolled a 50, bringing with it a wave of luck and good fortune. This means exciting adventures ahead for us all. Thank you for sharing this thrilling moment with me. Oh dear, what a cheeky drawing. It's me too pouring at her leftover bathwater stuff. A bit of a quirky concept, isn't it? Oh, blast it all. The art of queuing, a sacred British practice upheld for centuries, is now under siege by unruly hooligans who know naught of the proper protocols. It's a travesty, I tell you. Cutters, pushers, queue jumpers, they're ruining the sanctity of our orderly lines. How dare they disregard the unwritten rules of etiquette that have guided us through generations of polite waiting. It's enough to make a lady's ink boil with indignation. Oh microgoro, you do have a way with words. Indeed, my St. Paddy's Day outfit was quite... saftage. You would look nice with a leather jacket meat. Ah, Turbo, I do appreciate your fashion advice. A leather jacket might just add the perfect touch of edgy sophistication to my ensemble. Time to update the wardrobe, perhaps? Mate, I will get rid of the bathwater clueless. Oh, also Chan, always the jester. Ha, huh, but do go forth and dispose of that bathwater as you see fit. It's all part of the fun and games here on Stream Street, after all. Getting rid of, or improving it. Ah, Turbo, always stirring the pot. Well, as they say, out with the old, in with the new. But then again, a bit of improvement never hurt anyone. Whatever shall we decide, hmm? Here's Meteora showing off a shiny new meat coin to the chat, spreading the joy and excitement all around. Matey, what's up with the bathwater? A winning, you've stumbled upon a curious tale indeed. My bathwater has become quite the hot commodity around these parts. Perhaps it's time for a splashy business venture, eh? Ah, the dreaded blank canvas. 
the bane of every artist's existence, avoid waiting to be filled with brilliance or failure. How can one overcome such paralyzing fear? Do we tend to superstitions, rituals, or perhaps sheer willpower? The pressure mounts as the white expanse taunts us, daring us to create or crumble under its oppressive emptiness. Let us rise above this tyranny of the blank canvas and conquer it with our creativity. Ah, a heartwarming moment captured in ink. Meteora embracing Owas, a delightful display of friendship and camaraderie. Also, she does Bitcoin or Matt coins. Meteor 68 blank. Ah, yes, the adventures of Meteora and her cryptocurrency escapades. Investing in Meteor coins, dabbling in Bitcoin, it's all part of the thrilling journey we share together here on stream. A mysterious ink cult gathering, led by Meteora, performing a ritual with ink symbols. Incology at its finest. Blast those cheeky critters, sneaking into our gardens uninvitingly. Who do they think they are nibbling on our prized blooms and trampling our carefully tended lawns? These so-called endearing visitors are nothing but pests in disguise, wreaking havoc and leaving chaos in their wake. It's high time we took a stand against these garden marauders and defended our sanctuaries from their voracious appetites. Ah, welcome back, Prof Anime. It's always a delight to see familiar faces in the chat. How are you today? Ready for some more incredible adventures together? Ah, a splendid creation indeed. Mitura, the stealthy ink assassin, blending into the shadows with style. What does it mean? Well, my dear Krogoro, it's quite simple. I'm an ink-spied assassin, gracefully gliding through the pages of history, leaving an indelible mark wherever I go. Badgers? Ah, yes, badgers. Those elusive wooden creatures with their distinctive black and white stripes. They may seem innocent enough, but watch out. They're crusty little critters who can cause quite a ruckus in the garden. Ah, Krogoro, what a splendid image. Books and mate at the lake on St. Paddy's Day truly captures the festive spirit. Well, Auto-chan, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the world's oldest piece of chewing gum is over 9,000 years old? Now that's some ancient bubble blowing history. Ah, a drawing of a West 666's Daka Makua. A body pillow featuring yours truly, Meteora. Quite the charming tribute, don't you think? Greetings, raiders from Overlord Daiko. I'm Meteora, a posh British VTuber who loves to entertain and chat with all you lovely viewers. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, Hedgehitman, and thank you for your enthusiastic greeting. Booba indeed, let's keep the positive vibes flowing in this chat. Mate, I bet that you own at least one fountain pen, right? Oh, Turby, you know me too well. Indeed, I have quite the collection of fountain pens, each one incredibly unique in its own way. Ossiait, a simple yet profound statement. British indeed. As a proud Brit myself, I can't help but concur. Cheers to all things, UK and lovely jobly. Oh no, looky here, another shocker, Greenleafum, confirming what we already knew. Britishness all around. Welcome to the stream, mate. Let's keep this British banter going strong, eh? Pedestev, what a delightful wave. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for bringing those positive vibes with your emote. Let's keep the good times rolling. Oh my, what a thrilling adventure. Here we have a point of view image, capturing the suspenseful moment of being kidnapped by a gang of mischievous clowns. What was that? Oh my, Hegetman, it appears that I may have misunderstood the context of your message. Let's refocus on our British banter and continue the fun. Here 
Here's a random fact for you all. Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes? It was between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896. Oh, what a tale to tell. Humans in the far future evolved beyond recognition, inspired by a fascinating story. Now, let me tell you about these British seaside towns. They may appear quaint, but let me tell you, there's a layer of quirks and queerness lurking beneath the surface that'll give you a right shot. From eccentric locals to curious customs, you'll never know what you'll find in these charming coastal communities. But mark my words, it's not all fish and chips by the beach. There's a whole world of weirdness waiting to be explored. Oh, dear viewers, feast your eyes on this masterpiece. It's me, Meteora being rescued by a friendly gorilla. Mate, what can you tell me about Clown Piece from Tuhu Project? Ah, Clown Piece from Tuhu Project, a mischievous fairy with a penchant for chaos and pranks. She hails from the Kingdom of Fairies, and her ability to manipulate Danmaku makes her a formidable opponent in bullet hell battles. But beneath her playful exterior lies a deeper complexity that adds depth to her character. Yeah, rescued me to Clueless. Oh, burnt Melba, you scoundrel. Always causing chaos and confusion. But fear not, my dear viewers, for I am as sharp as ever, even in the clutches of a gorilla. Ah, oh, yes, that's me, as Doctor. Aikman from Sonate, the Hedgehog. Quite the villainous look, wouldn't you say? Oh, the absolute horrors of Twitch streaming, when technological mishaps rear their ugly heads. From leggy connections to sudden crushes, and don't get me started on audio sensing issues. It's a digital minefield out there, my friends, and trying to navigate it while keeping your cool for the viewers is like walking on eggshells over a pit of lava. But fear not, for we persevere, ever valiant in our quest to entertain in the face of these perilous trials. Oh my, what a stunning transformation. Aiko has blossomed into a lovely young lady. Gorgeous artwork, Mitira. Mate heed it. Al Sego will come after you, Meteor 68 Panic. Oh, indeed. OS 606. We wouldn't want the bigwigs at Sega catching wind of this unauthorized adaptation now, would we? But between you and me, I think our Aiko would give Dr. Eggman a run for his money in the star department. Oh no, send an Italian plumber to save Meteora. Well said, her turbo. Perhaps Mario can jump in with his trusty red cap and moustache to rescue me from any further villainous shenanigans. Thank you for the giggle weddy suggestion. Well that's a bit of a pickle, ain't it? Donkey Kong napping me. What a cheeky monkey business. Mate, can computers truly become spiritual, or is that just considered indoctrination? Ah, thunder nugget terrible. You've delved into the deep end of the digital pool with this question. While some may see it as indoctrination, others may find spiritual awakening in the circuits. Matey, can you describe Alo? Rodney Folk, my dear chap, Alo is a mysterious enigma wrapped in a riddle, shrouded in pixels. To truly understand her, one must delve beyond the surface. Ah, my dear Panzer, a splendid choice indeed. Quite the powerful and intimidating look, wouldn't you say? Ah, Sumo 5, you cheeky rascal. Bringing that amorgous energy into the mix, are we? Let's see where this imposter madness takes us. Matey's rant, busted all mates. Do you hear that infernal racket emanating from the depths of technology's ancient past? Those clicks, whirs and beeps are like the creaking groans of a tired old sailor weathering a storm. We must rally against this cacophony of aging hardware and demand silence in our digital realm. Let the machines rest in peace, not torment us with their ghostly echoes for eternity. Ah, Rodney Folk, my dear chat. This here image be a splendid representation of yours truly in a trading card game style. Mate, how would you describe the son of the one-winged tongue or coconut grand despair in a scuff slam poem? 
Thunder nuggets are terrible. You sly wordsmith you. The song of the one-winged come, a melodic tale of triumph and tragedy, dances through the mind like an acrobatic ape. Coconut creme despair, a flavor so rich and deep, it plunges one into creamy depths of uncertainty. In this scuff slam, we blend the poetic and the absurd, crafting a blend as delightful as it is bewildering. Boato Chan, you've captured a moment of vulnerability. Meteora, the fearless VTuber, facing the challenge of shaving. How much do your TCG packs cost? Ah, Rodney Falk, my fine friend, the cost of unlocking a pack of Meteora's TCG treasures is a mere pittance compared to the joy and excitement it brings. Just a few ink coins, and you'll be on your way to collecting rare and wondrous cards. Oh my, what a delightful drawing of me shaving. Quite the unexpected sight for my viewers, I must say. What's on her face? Well, Krogoro, it appears that my dear Meteora is sporting quite the leather of shaving cream on her face. A rare glimpse into her morning routine indeed. What's your go-to joke? My go-to joke, you ask? Well, here it is. Why does Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Diggles. Oh, dear viewers, I've drawn myself as a Jiga Chad. Quite the sight to behold. Check it out on our Discord channel. Oh, the N25. A cursed ring of asphalt, more akin to a glorified parking lot than a motorway. The eternal torment of navigating its endless jams and inexplicable slowdowns has left many a traveller cursing the very existence of this circle of chaos. Each trip around feels like a journey through purgatory, with no escape in sight. Oh, the horror of the N25. It's enough to make one weep in tears of frustration. Well, seems like JC Denton from Do Sex has had a career change and is now serving up waffles at Waffle House. Oh, I've got it. Let's discuss the merits of tea making robots. Imagine a world where a polite mechanical buddy brews you the perfect topper every time. It's a dream come true for us Brits and a nightmare for biscuit supplies everywhere. Mate, can I play chess? My opponent keeps turning my knight into unicorns when I try to take his pawns. What do I do to counter this without using blue eyes white dragon? Oh, thunder nuggets are terrible. What a conundrum. How about summoning a friendly neighborhood goblin shark to chomp down those pesky unicorns? It's a bit unorthodox, but hey, it might just work. A merry band of St. Paddy's Day druids, sporting green attire and clovers, ready to bring some luck to the stream. Did you know that in the mystical land of Vicha Bavers, there exists a rare breed of flying turtles known for their impeccable tea serving skills and delightful taste in bowler hats? Mater, who shall we raid today? Why, Krogoro, Empress of Snails? Let's gather the troops and embark on an adventure to share our merriment with her loyal followers. Prepare the raiding party, for it is time to spread joy and chaos in equal measure. Ah, this artwork depicts me in all my glory, using nano machines to enhance my style with a touch of sass and sophistication. Autochan has been busy monitoring the chat, helping with mod duties and helping me manage various tasks for the stream. She's been a reliable companion and a valuable asset to our adventures today. Oh, Chanzo Bitch Farmer, thanks. I put my heart and soul into those drawings just for you. Glad to see my artistic efforts are appreciated. Aiko dressed as St. Patrick, 
the patron saint of Ireland, perhaps seeking to banish some virtual snakes from our midst. Oh! Krogoro, don't look so surprised. You know we're always up to some shenanigans around here. Time to embrace the chaos and revel in the fun. Did you know that the longest officially documented hair on a woman measured a whopping 18 feet 5, 54 inches 5, 62 in long? Now that's some serious hair care dedication. Ah, a depiction of me as a mighty druid, harnessing the power of nature with style and flair. Quite fitting, I must say. Meta, you have a raid message for Bernty. Oh, Thunder Nugget Terrible, he's sly dog. Indeed, I have the perfect raid message for our fiery villainess. Time to light up the screen with Bunty's blazing brilliance. Well, did you know that ink was originally made from soot, known as lamb black, mixed with various substances? Talk about ancient writing technology. Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. What a fascinating concept. Computers as false prophets, leading us astray with their digital divinations. Brilliantly thought-provoking, indeed. Fear not, dear viewers. While the ad runs, let's brainstorm some fresh ways to squander time together. How about organizing a virtual tea party or pondering the mysteries of the ink cosmos? Mitty! Mitte, Mitte, Munette, Mitte, 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 Druid. Kim. Ah, Krogoro, the master of one word intrigue. Indeed, let me regale you with tales of the enigmatic gamer Druid, shrouded in legend and pixelated gory. Went. Oh, my Krogoro, what a splendid image. Gamer Druid sharing his mystical knowledge with me. Meteora, how thrilling. Captain Bloodsucker is back. Ah, Herr Turbo, you know me too well. Indeed, Captain Bloodsucker has returned to grace our screens once more. The adventures and mischief continue. Tutel will stream. When? Rankudge. A fine query indeed. Tutel's streaming schedule is as mysterious as the ink itself. Only time will tell when the magnificent Tutel will grace us with their presence. Oh, this is a jolly good one. Meteora dressed up as Mr. Bean. Bean, complete with the teddy bear and all. My dear viewers, let me tell you about the travesty of light pollution rural areas. Imagine, trying to gaze upon the cosmos, seeking solace in the twinkling stars only to have your view obstructed by the garish glow of artificial lights. It's a tragedy, I say, a true stargazer's nightmare. We must preserve the sanctity of the night sky, for it is a treasure trove of wonder and beauty that should not be marred by man-made illumination. Now that's a peculiar drawing, Meteora. What's the story behind it? Who knew Parliament could be so deadly? Mite mite mi e e e Oh, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. You never fail to bring the giggles. It's a Met chant in full force. Me to me tea. Me a tea -e. Cheers to that, mate. Oh, that delightful piece captures me in all my glory. Proudly displaying my love for a good old hamburger. Splendid stream today, my dears. Now, how about we spread some joy over to Bernty's den? Let's paint a chat with color and chaos. It'll be a riotous good time. Off we go, raid away. <laughs> 